Hey, go fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Fiddle of Eagles Now. Before we start today's video, updating you on the latest Eagles news and rumors, and you're going to want to stay tuned for this. A lot is going on with COVID, resting players, not resting players, all coming up in a second. First, though, question, how likely are you to recommend this channel to an Eagles fan? What do you think? You guys like this channel? If you would recommend it to an Eagles fan, tell me how likely you would be. Scale of 1 to 10 down below. 10 being like, this is the best Eagles channel ever, or 1 being like, this is the worst Eagles channel ever. Trying to figure out what you guys think of our channel overall. Give me your recommendation down below right now. All right, as mentioned in the title, today's news and rumors start and center around COVID-19. Now, naturally, COVID, a little spike in the Omicron variant happening right now. Seems to be a lot less mild, which is good news overall. But the inevitable has happened, and the Eagles have had their massive outbreak so far of COVID-19. A report yesterday citing 12 Eagles have tested positive for the virus. Uh, unsure the vaccination status of all 12, although the assumption is the majority of them are. The list does include eight starters between both the offense and defense. We'll show you guys those names here in just one second. But this all comes here on a Tuesday, January January 4th of filming this video, meaning we are just a couple of days away from a Saturday night matchup, Flex from Sunday, playing in Philadelphia against the Dallas Cowboys. That's the 8-10 kickoff, I think, on ESPN or ABC or whatever network they have it on right now. But this does come, uh, again, very quickly and very close to the final Week 18 game of the season. So, who are the players? Let's start with the first six. Here we go. Uh, Jannard Avery, the linebacker who's played a lot of, uh, I mean, he's played a lot so far this season, a lot more than people realize. We forget about him. He had the pick against uh, Taylor Heineke that was called back for illegal contact. Fletcher Cox, obviously, big star there. He has tested positive. And safety Marcus Epps, who again is a backup safety, but has played a lot this season so far for Philadelphia. Next list, Dallas Goddard, star tight end. He has tested positive. His birthday was yesterday, too, so bummer for him on that one. Nate Irving, your starting right guard currently. And Jordan Howard, who technically is a starting running back whenever healthy, behind Miles Sanders, who is unhealthy as well. Those are your first six who have tested positive for COVID-19. Now, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, because we're going to keep you up to date as people come in and out of COVID protocol. My assumption is most of these players will be better sooner rather than later. And once they remove from the list, we'll have a video, I'm sure, updating you guys on all the latest COVID protocols and the latest COVID-19 updates and everything else we're talking about in today's video. So be sure to go down below uh, and hit the subscribe button. Also in COVID-19 protocol, Jason Kelsey. That's not good. You're starting center. He is out. Avante Maddox, your cornerback. That's just your nickel corner. And Roddy McLeod, your starting safety, have tested positive. I told you, a lot of starters. Boston Scott has also tested positive for COVID-19. Alex Singleton, one of your starting linebackers. And tight end Jack Stoll has tested positive as well for a total of, again, three per uh, list three, four list threes in total. That's 12 players. I told you the number there uh, from the start have tested positive for COVID-19. We'll see if any more test positive today, right? That's kind of the hold your breath for later this afternoon, the list could become a lot bigger. Um, before we get into why I think this is actually a good thing for Philadelphia, and I'll explain that here in a second. First, though, type get well soon down below in the comment section to wish all the players the best in battling COVID-19. Again, the majority of COVID cases in the NFL right now, vast majority, are minor symptoms, runny nose, a little cough, you know, very few are having serious symptoms. But type get well soon down below to wish all the players the best and hope they're able to come back and be ready to go for their playoff run because they are playoff bound. Okay, this is why it's a good thing, in my opinion. We'll throw the quote up here from Bleeding Green Nation. They are all over this. A fantastic write-up earlier uh, today on their website. Quote, the Eagles might actually prefer to have a number of these players, especially key veterans, such as Cox, Kelsey, and McLeod, remain on the COVID list ahead of Saturday's game. Why? Well, it would allow them to elevate a large number of their practice squad players to the active roster instead of just a normal maximum of two elevations. Now, it would go on to say, listen to this, quote, another benefit to the Eagles and the uh, players who were added to the list is that they're exempt from being subject to testing for 90 days if they test positive for COVID-19. In other words, testing positive now ensures their playoff ability, end quote. See that? So once you test positive, they will not test you for another 90 days, which is fantastic news for all 12 of these players, meaning that all 12 of them will be good to go for the playoffs. Now, pin comment down below. We're going to get into this, and we're going to hear from Nick Sirianni in a second. Would you rest starters on Saturday, play the backups against Dallas in Week 18? In my opinion, a meaningless game. We'll obviously talk about that coming up here in just a couple of minutes. But this, to me, feels like a, a game where you rest the starters, make sure everybody's healthy, and then roll into your broad card matchup. If you'd rest the starters, why down below for yes? If not, pin comment and down below for no. And Nick Sirianni was asked about resting starters yesterday, and he seems to not have uh, made a decision yet. I bet you in his mind he actually has. He's not telling us if he's going to rest starters or not. Throw the quote up on the screen. Quote, I know there is a thing about resting, and there's a thing about staying sharp. No doubt we're taking everything into account, and we'll discuss that later on today. That was yesterday. So I'm assuming we're going to find out sooner rather than later. But with all these players on the COVID-19 list, regardless of symptoms, I would 100% rest the starters. I think they should rest the starters going into Saturday. What do you win? 
from playing on Saturday. One, you're probably going to lose to Dallas, who, as we'll see, is going to play their starters, and so you kind of, you know, kill your momentum going into the postseason. Two, now again, if you're resting starters and lose, you don't kill uh, momentum, in my opinion, because you're supposed to lose. And two, you want to be as healthy as possible. Like, there are plenty of Eagles who have some nicks and dings and bruises. Treat this as if you got a first-round bye. Like, we're all praising the Packers and the Titans for having first-round buys uh, in the uh, in the playoffs, and so why not treat this like your own little first-round buy, and then you roll into the playoffs extra rested, ready to go against potentially the Bucks or you know, the Cardinals, the Cowboys, or the Rams, I would 100% rest the starters. Now, Dallas is not going to rest starters, and we'll see that quote here coming up in just a couple of minutes from Mike McCarthy. Before we get into that, though, first, quick shout-out to our friends at BetUS, who won me money this week. I bet on, you guys see this? You guys see? Bet on my Baylor Bears to win the Sugar Bowl. That was a solid bet. Won that one. You guys want to get on in on the National Championship game betting or the Eagle betting or the playoff betting, whatever you want to do if you're a first-time better, do their friends at BetUS, chatsports.com forward slash Eagles bet. That promo code is Eagles125. Get 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up, turning your $100 deposit into 225 bucks for your betting pleasure. And, you know, listen, I'm telling you, bet on the Bears, you're going to win some money, at least we have in the past, so we'll wait and see what happens with March Madness in just a couple of months. Excited for that. Okay, here is the John Macha- uh, Mach- Machota, I think you say his name, Cowboy Beat Writer, uh, that came out yesterday. Quote, Mike McCarthy said the Cowboys are going to play their starters Saturday night at Philadelphia. Quote, we're going to line up to do what we need to do to win the game. I think playing up there in the weather in Philadelphia will serve us well, end quote. So, again, another reason why you don't play your starters, because you don't want to reveal your new, improved game plan against the Dallas Cowboys. Think about this, right? As you look at the NFC playoff picture, last time Philadelphia played, Dallas was week three. Now, week three, you were not running the football as anywhere near what you do now. You were like the worst rushing football team, now the best rushing football team. I want to keep those cards for if you have to play Dallas in the postseason. Like, you you might have to play Dallas there uh, in the wild card round, as we'll see here in just one second. As of right now, you see the two seed is the Rams. So, if the season ended today, you would play the Rams on the road as a 2 7 matchup. And I like that Philadelphia stays as a 7 means whoever is the two is probably going to go ahead and be your likely opponent. As you look at the wild card opponents, look at this. Because the Bucks play the uh, the Panthers on Sunday, people are assuming the Bucks are going to win, which means the Bucks have a 55% chance to have the two seed, meaning it's a 55% chance that Philadelphia plays the Bucks there in round one, which to me, as we'll talk about in tomorrow's video, is probably the most favorable matchup. If you looked at the Bucks recently, they almost lost to the Jets. Their defense gives up a ton of yards, and uh, ooh, they have a lot of injuries on offense and the Antonio Brown saga. Like, I get it's Tom Brady, but the Bucks to me, are a team you want to face there in round one. Cardinals, again, they are, sorry, the Rams play... The Rams play the 49ers on Sunday. They play the Cardinals. I forget which NFC Midwest matchup it is. Either way, the Rams have a 22% chance of getting the two seed, meaning 22% chance against us. And the Cardinals have an 11% chance of getting the two seed. Dallas also an 11% chance because Dallas lost to the Cardinals, meaning that the odds of the Cowboys being anything uh, higher than a three or four seed are very, very slim. So those are your wild card likelihood opponents. And again, it doesn't matter what happens. I think losing is probably the best idea for Saturday night, or at least, you know, bat- playing, resting your starters and then getting ready for round one of the playoffs because I think they can win round one one of the NFC playoffs, and regardless of who it is, I feel very confident about at least being competitive in that game. Rest of starters, get healthy, and we'll update you guys on all the, of course, COVID stuff happening the next couple of days. What do you guys think? Who do you want to play in round one of the, of the playoffs? I keep saying the Bucks. I'm probably going to regret that because it's Tom Brady and Brady doesn't lose in the, in the playoffs, and I'll be like, oh, wow, I wish we would have played Kyler, who's had some offensive issues, or we should have the Rams, who throw a lot of interceptions. But right now, I'm leaning towards Bucks. What do you guys think? Who do you want to play? And around one of the playoffs, let me know down below in the comments section. All right, ultimate over today here on Philadelphia Eagles Now. More quicker updates. We do a lot of updates here on the channel, obviously. But you can get the instant updates by following me on Twitter, at RealThomasMod. You follow me on Twitter, I just hit 3K followers. Big deal. I tweet a ton, retweet a ton, like a ton of Philadelphia Eagles stuff. Encourage you guys to go ahead and follow me. And, of course, we are going to go ahead and do a mailbag video later on this week. So use the hashtag Eagles down below in the comments section. And be a subscriber and get your questions showed up on our show. A lot going on. A lot is fluid. A lot will change. We'll cover it here on the channel. For Philadelphia Eagles Now, though, I'm Thomas Mott signing off to the rest of your day.